October 22, 2022, Saturday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. Saint of the Day, Saint John Paul II. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians. On each one of us, God's favor has been bestowed in whatever way Christ allotted it. That is why it says, He went up to the heights, took captives, He gave gifts to humanity. When it says He went up, it must mean that He had gone down to the deepest levels of the earth. The one who went down is none other than the one who went up above all the heavens to fill all things. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, to knit God's holy people together for the work of service to build up the body of Christ. Until we all reach unity in faith and knowledge of the Son of God and form the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself, then we shall no longer be children or tossed one way and another and carried hither and thither by every new gust of teaching at the mercy of all the tricks people play and their unscrupulousness in deliberate deception. If we live by the truth and in love, we shall grow completely into Christ, who is the head, by whom the body is fitted and joined together, every joint adding its own strength for each individual part to work according to its function. So the body grows until it has built itself in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. It was just about this time that some people arrived and told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than any others, that this should have happened to them? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen on whom the tower of Siloam fell, killing them all, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it but found none. He said to the vine dresser, For three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down, why should it be taking up the ground? 
Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig round it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. Each one of us has been given a share of God's grace as Christ has allotted it. The purpose of every gift is that we should use it for the building up of the body of Christ, the Church. We grow in all ways if we live by the truth and in love. Christ is the head of the Church and we are all members. The Church is built up in love. In the Gospel, we hear the message that if we do not repent, we all will perish. The way to repent is by producing the fruits befitting the kingdom of God. Jesus narrates the parable of the fig tree in the vineyard, which was not producing fruits for three years. At the request of the man who looked after the garden, the master gave more year to bear fruits. If not, it would be cut down. God is inviting us to repent. The good news is that he gives us one more opportunity with some more time to produce fruits. The opportunity is not to be missed. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. Are you not disregarding this? Tolerance and patience, failing to realize that this generosity of God is meant to bring you to repentance. What is the area of repentance that the Lord is reminding you about? Act upon it without delay.